Hello folks and welcome to a new game, Planet Coaster! As always, of course, I am Falcon, your host, and folks, if you like this video, uh, please uh, leave a like on the video itself, uh, because it helps it to get, be more popular, helps it to get more views. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you like my content, because I would love to see more of you, and it let, makes it a lot easier for you to um, be able to find my content. Uh, and please, folks, both in the top right corner, the bot, uh, down below in the description of this video and every other video, and at the end of the video as well, there was a link to my Patreon. And going forward, uh, once the Patreon starts to grow and stuff, I really want to do some really interesting things that I don't think most YouTubers do. Uh, provide interactive content and actually provide content that is actually community created along with myself um, to you guys and I th don't think the way I'm trying to do this and what exactly I'm trying to do I don't I have never seen uh, I haven't seen any other youtubers do anything like this so I really would love to uh, have you guys check that out and be able to do some of those things with you and provide what I think is gonna be some interesting fairly unique content so let's go ahead and jump into this um, this is the first time I've played this game, I have bought it over the, um, I think I bought it over the Christmas sale that Steam had going on, the holiday sale and stuff, but I didn't, uh, I haven't played it yet. <laughs> Even though, if you were to look at my, um, Steam profile of the game or whatever, it would probably say I've played, like, ten hours or something of it. <laughs> All of those ten hours have done, like this, sitting in the menu with the, men with the game in the background, while I was doing other things, because I keep starting the game up, intending to record it and play it, and I just go do other shit. I just don't. <laughs> so I actually need to record this. Uh, I'm actually recording this the day of a release, which is um, a video to be released, that is, which is something I normally don't do, uh, and particularly because um, rendering videos takes some time, and... Then, of course, you have to upload it and stuff, and it's just time-consuming to accomplish. Uh, so I do like something that this company seems to have done with their game, is they do, they're do they trying to feature uh, creators, and these creators are the people who make... Um, they just make things in the game, and they decide to share it with the community. Um, this has a pretty active community from what I've seen with the workshop and things, and you can see where uh, all of the creators, or if you have any friends or whatever, who play the game who I presently do not, um, it'll show all of them, which is pretty cool. And you can create your own little avatar, uh, which is just kind of silly. So, let's go ahead and jump into this. Um, I don't think the game, I've turned the game volume down a great deal. Let's take a quick look at the options. It shows up with audio first. You can see the uh, soundtrack is very low. The main volume is um, reduced from where it was, but still pretty high, but I will possibly adjust that as time goes on. Key sensitive stuff, some camera behavior issues, which is nice to see. Um, of course, the graphics options, you can do with various displays if you have multiple displays like I do. Uh, of course, windowed full screen and borderless, and then your resolution, which you can only change apparently if you're actually on full screen, uh, which is a little annoying, but that's okay. Uh, refresh rate, so on and so forth. I don't actually know if these have that much of an effect if you're not in uh, full screen mode. It is presently running at 130-ish, 130, 130 to 140 frames per second, so I mean, I'm at least getting the appropriate refresh rate. I, I don't know. And then, of course, the various graphics options, which is annoying that you set it to Ultra, and it doesn't actually turn all of these on. A lot of these are not even on the highest setting. See, there's a very high there, very high there, uh, Ultra there. I, I wouldn't want depth of field on anyway. Uh, it's just, it's very strange that there's a lot of options that are apparently higher than what the even the Ultra preset sets it to. Um, it's, a, it's on custom because I raised, I don't even know, maybe the shadows? 
I don't actually know what I raised. I raised something to above what it normally was. Uh, which, of course, set it over to that. Um, you can change the interface color, which is pretty cool. Not something you see in most games. Uh, so that's neat. Depending on the map that you're on, some of these other colors, like the uh, orange or red or pink or whatever, some of these may show up better than some of the other colors, which is might be nice. Um, also, you can change the text size. Uh, I don't know how small this is going to look for the video. They actually normally set this pretty damn small. It's kind of annoying, actually. Um, that is way too big, though, for me, although... I don't know. We'll, we'll look and see how it looks in the videos themselves, but it originally was set to 70%, which was, like, tiny. Like, I could barely freaking read the damn thing. So maybe they need to work on that a little bit, but... Uh, and then you have different various units of measurement, which is nice. Um, so you can go miles per hour or kilometers per hour, or even meters or feet per second, which is not something that you see very often, particularly those two options, but I'm sticking with miles per hour. I live in the U.S. I know, I understand what miles per hour is better than what I would understand kilometer, kilometers per hour. So we're going to leave it at that. Although I will go with meters because um, those are kind of a better unit of measurement than feet. All right, so uh, we will eventually maybe do the sandbox or challenge or something. But for right now, we're just going to do the career because it's kind of the thing that makes it easier to understand what the hell you're doing. Um, so there's this one, which was the holiday ver one, um, which I should possibly consider doing because I don't know if that's going to remain available. But at least for the moment, we're going to start with the beginner Lockjaw's Berry Treasure area. So there's three maps. Pirate Battle is the first one. I have to complete ride construction, draw on the crowds, and give your guests a swash swashbuckling good time. So we're just going to go ahead and start that up and... I'm gonna check this game out. I've watched some videos on it, and it looks really cool. I loved the Roller Coaster ty Tycoon games. <sighs> oh, I don't even know now. They were 15 years ago or something when they were last coming out. I mean, it was a long freaking time ago, but... Um... I don't know what that achievement just was. What was this achievement? I just got an achievement for no reason that I can entirely understand. What did I just get? Um, what? Oh, okay. It didn't actually get the achievement, it was just so telling me that I had made progress on achievement, except, uh, you know, I really didn't. So, well, that's interesting. We have, like, a colonial, um, the red shirts from the uh, British Empire shooting at the pirates. This game is very pretty. I do. I'm very impressed with the uh, graphics and stuff. I'm trying to figure out what the hell the controls are here. Okay, so middle mouse moves the ma the thing around. I like that there's like dude down here shooting at guys. The like the ship's on fire, but they're people. Little boats and stuff down there. It's an impressive setup, and you, the fact that you can do things like this is this is the first. Rollercoaster Tycoon ish style game that I have seen that allows you the kind of customization in the, the terrain and the sites that you can have in your park. Um, it is not something that any of the games that I've seen previously generally allowed you to do, uh, which is neat. I like that that is a thing. So, what do we have here? Cap and Beef. Okay, sure. Chief Beef statue. I think this is the entrance. Maybe. Yeah, it's definitely got to be the entrance. Definitely got to be the entrance, although I don't actually know where they're coming into the park from. Like, I don't know where this... This trail is really kind of strange, because it goes through... I guess this is just the entrance, but it goes... It just seems to meander through the terrain and stuff, which is cool, but it does seem to take it 
a long time to actually get to the actual like park area. Which is a little annoying. That music is really loud. So we've got the high seas, our one roller coaster. A pretty nice roller coaster from the looks of things. If you look f fast, it's good. Okay, the fact that the achievements are popping up constantly, telling me that I made progress on them, when, you know, it's just, we're just sitting here and nothing's really happening, is kind of annoying. Not gonna lie. What is this? Does this, like, go somewhere? How do I... I know there's a way to change the... Oh, that's not what I wanted. You can ride the ride, though, which is something that I really liked about, uh... Um... Oh, which one added that? Uh... Okay, so there's just a fire back here. No particular reason to be back here, I guess. Very well. Carry on. Uh, but that was something that I really liked about Roller Coast Tycoon uh, 3, I believe it was, that unlocked or added that kind of ability to the game. That was not something that previously had really been available. I'm actually going to turn the park music option down a lot because it is pretty ridiculously loud. Alright, so, um, our money is down here in the corner. We are making money, so that's good. Uh, park rating. Because tapping this is very low. Alright, so how does one pause the game? Assuming that you can pause the game. He pauses it. Good. Oh, uh, Chris. Oh, okay. Oh, cycles through it. Alright, that's interesting. Um... Okay, so I have no blueprints, of course, because I haven't downloaded anything, nor have I made anything myself. Uh, we have to do research. Interesting. How does one do research? Park management. Uh, again, this is my first time playing the game, so we may have some kind of silly things that we're trying to do as we are going through stuff. Uh, so we need more food places. We need more... Rides, of course. We probably need bathrooms, because I actually have not seen anything in the way of bathrooms available anywhere. Uh, yeah, no facility. Oh, no, that's, uh, money from them. Never mind. Scenery running cost is only $24.44, although this is probably, like, thousands of dollars, but even so. Considering the amount of scenery that there is, that's actually fairly impressive, all things considered. Alright, so we need to do some research. Probably don't want to mess with marketing just yet. Uh, we do probably need some more um, staff to manage things. Uh, although, somewhere there should be a way to look at the staff that we already own. Yeah, okay. So, we have no entertainers. Two janitors, one mechanic, and one vendor running our one shop. So, let's go ahead and put down one of the captains. And one of the beef dudes. How do I... Can I, like... Okay, so you just fall to the ground and you're fine. Alright. Sure. We can see all of our various guests and what they want. Um, it looks like we probably need... Um, probably need restrooms, yes, because I don't see any restrooms anywhere. Which is a little on the uh, concerning side, to be perfectly honest with you. Uh... Definitely a little bit on the concerning side. So, uh, we need to start some research, though, so let's go ahead and get that working. Um, I would like to do... I would like to do 
Ooh, a facility. Let's do a coaster to queue stuff up. Ken. Oh, that's oh, okay. It's doing all of them at once. Oh, okay. How much money do we have? Uh, we don't have enough money to do all of those. Uh, so we need to pause one of you. Probably pause the... Probably pause the other ones. Let's do the coaster first, and then we'll get the other ones done as time goes on. Alright, so first off, we need to place a couple more regular rides, because right now we have very few going down. Um, somehow there's ways to move things, but I don't know how. Okay, Z lets you let you turn them. Okay, that gives you like precise control of stuff if you want to do weird things with it. Surface move. Okay. Sure. Oh. Uh, okay. Interesting. All right, I'm down. All right, so let's put this uh, probably like over here. Cat, what the hell are you doing? Come on, get out of there. What do you want? Why are you up on the desk and being a pain in my butt like you sometimes tend to do when I really don't want you to be doing things that you're making you a pain in the butt. Let's put the entrance like back here. We will put the exit kind of right in the front. There's no reason to make people exiting the ride have to, to really make any uh, length of time. Mm, I kind of don't like how that is presently working. I feel like that bothers me a little bit. Actually would like this to be mostly straight. Okay, now I need paths. How does one make paths? Stop, cat. Going to kick your butt. Um, is that the path that we're using? No. Although they use this. Let's kind of maintain some of the aesthetic that they've already set up. Just because. And... The Q scenery is bad because we need to put like some sort of trees or something along it so we actually have... Stop. So we actually have um, some things to see. Uh, see, anyway, there we go. That's what we want. So let us put maybe like an anchor right there. Let's do a palm tree. Maybe in the divide there? No, doesn't quite let us do that. Couple of barrels, just kind of randomly strewing around, some planters. Put like a bench, needs to be on there, okay, whatever. Should probably, we do need to put some benches around everywhere because there's no, presently no place for people to sit on the trails that are existing right now. And that's something, assuming this game plays anything like, um, Roller Crest to Tycoon, it is something that you definitely, definitely want, is to have benches and stuff all along your paths. And the fact that they, damn it, it's not what I wanted. The fact that they don't have that, they also need trash cans all along the paths. And I am a little annoyed that there is few, if any, of these things anywhere. There's a few of them back here, it looks like. There's very few 
from the looks of it. Um, let's see, we do need half the extras. Barrel bin. There's like a explanation of these things anywhere. Uh, can't tell. I'm going to assume that these are in fact trash cans. Because I think that's what they're intended to be. Even though they are... God damn it. Stop snapping to the outside of the thing. There. Let's put a bunch of those along the paths. Switch back over to... Put in a few trees. And then maybe I will do an arch. Where was the arch at? Have extra special effects. Um, let's see. I don't see the arch thing. I know that it's. I know that it exists. I don't know what the hell that's supposed to be. Just kind of want to. I kind of would. I would like to set up a arch across this if we can do that. The problem is, I need to know. Can you color it? Oh yes, you can. Now, can you do like designs or something on it? Would be my next question. That doesn't seem to be the case. It does not seem to be the case. Which is a little bit annoying, so you can just do kind of colors and stuff, so that's probably not what I want. Oops, I did not mean to place that. I actually want to just demolish that, because I did not mean to put it down in the first place. Okay, so you can do shapes and stuff, but I, I wonder... Like, you have to be somehow able to color these things besides just basic colors, because that just doesn't look very good. Like, there has to be textures and stuff you can put on them. I would hope, anyway. But... If there is, I haven't seen... a means to do that. Alright, we'll just put that right there. And then we need to go back to... the thing here, and we need to probably test it. Start test. Ticket price is 7. See, I don't know what, like, the... What is the... What are you running at? 20? What are you running at? 5.5. .5. Okay. Alright, 7 is reasonable, then. We can leave it as it is. The ride colors... Um, this one is... We should probably try to make the colors at least be semi-set as the same kind of stuff that the rest of the park is. So maybe red, white, or no, maybe like this wood color if we can find one. If we can find one that is roughly appropriate. Uh, fortunately, I don't know. Eh, it's not too bad, actually. And then maybe change the green to white. It's not too bad. It's not too bad. Insanity 7. Why is it 7? Uh, what are the names of this one? Commotion on the Ocean... So we'll change this to uh, 
Uh, see, I was gonna call it high seas hijinks or something like that, but the um, the roller coaster is called the high seas, so it's probably not a good name for it. Uh, pirate. Flying pirate, or I don't know. I'm just trying to make up some some name, and it's really not working too well. But you know, it's whatever. It's fine. So we have started the test, but we're presently paused. So we will let the test go. Oh, let's test dummies in. That's kind of funny. That is kind of funny. So. Okay. Uh oh. People are setting on these facing the wrong direction. Uh, that's not good. Uh, that's not good. I didn't realize those had a, like a specific direction that they had to be sitting on, but I suppose that makes kind of a degree of sense. Uh, so I might need to, like with these ones, I might need to turn to rotate them around so that they are facing more along the lines of the correct direction that we would like to go. Oh, we have to move it. Alright, whatever. Uh, can you not rotate these things? Mm, okay. There does not appear to be a way to rotate this. Nope, don't want that. Alright, whatever, fine. Just leave it how it is then. Screw it. Yeah, they're totally sitting on the wrong side of the things. Oh, I need to move these. When I set them down initially, is there... No, that's how they want. We need scenery. Uh, like, oh, there we go. Okay. Z does it. What we wanted. All right. Stop. Okay, I'm a little confused. So, have I rotated that one around? No, you're still trying to sit on it facing the wrong damn direction. So how the hell do you change this thing to... Uh, you know what, fuck it. I don't really care that much right now. Not right the second, anyway. Alright, so we got one of those down. The Roctopus is probably something that we could do fairly well. What is this? Oh. Oh, interesting. It's like little planes. That's a new ride. I've never seen something like that before. Already got one of those. Okay, um... Alright, sure. I can build one of these. I can get already with one of these. I'm down. Alright, let's put the entrance... Put the entrance on the side. And then we gotta put the exit. And just put the exit right there, because it just immediately links up, so it makes it real simple. Which is good. I am pleased by how simple that made that. Alright, and at least for the moment, we will starve you, start your thing. I need to put in a little bit of scenery. Uh, 
Let's do a rock. A couple of rocks. This really part doesn't really fit. Do, do a bush. Leaning tree that makes it look. Oh, that's playing music that we cannot be listening to. Alright, I might need to, for the sake of YouTube, I think we need to pot to mute park music. Shop radios. I would rather not, but um, that is playing music that. I don't know why it sounds like it's still. I don't know why it sounds like it's still playing music though. Yeah, so you're playing Flight of the Valkyries. You need to, you need to, you need to stop that. Can't be playing that music. Yeah, no music on you. Rocktopus Rock, I think, is at least unique to them, so that should be fine. But I'm still gonna turn it off. And then the roller coaster itself it has no music. Good. Yeah, I just need I, I don't know for sure if music and whatnot is things that we need to be concerned about. Oh what the hell was that? It's like a cannon shell. Interesting. Okay. Uh so we need to put in so this is this is tested right I think you can just go to start mode now cuz i think it's it's run it's done its thing i think you're fine to uh to go Oh my, yeah, you're loading. You're loading through quite a few people. What are you what are you doing? It's like people that are like deba debating if they uh want to do something or whatever. Like what are these why do these people come up to the entrance and stop? I mean that queue is pretty long, but How's the, um... Where was that at? Under statistics? No... Q scenery rating. For some reason there is better. Maybe because it has lights and shit? Because I haven't added lights. So that might be a thing. Should probably add some lights. Probably should add some lights. I don't know that's the lights that we want to add because that's really not good enough. Uh oh, what did I just do? What did I. Oh, was our requirement to do something specific? I don't even know what the hell requirement. Oh, okay, didn't place the thing that I was trying to place. I don't actually even know what the requirements are for what we were trying to do here. Uh, so... Where... Are, like, these... Lights here? These lights. So I would like to use something semi-similar, at least? I mean, thankfully, time, like, the night time is not something that lasts very long unless you want it to. So, I mean, it doesn't necessarily delay us that much, but... Uh, kind of want it to be hanging over the... Hitting over the path. And we 
we can kind of put you here. Maybe do a do, do, do. I don't know. Why is the golden treasure chest a freaking ten thousand dollar thing? That's a little crazy. Definitely a little bit on the nutso side. Fortunately, we have at least completed part of the problem here. Oh, there we go. That's an arch that does kind of what I wanted. Sort of. It's not exactly what I was looking for, but it will do the job. Oh, I don't know. Make sure it's on the ground. It's not snapping to the ground is the problem. what I wanted. It's not ex it's not a it's not exactly perfect, but it's close. It's close. Reasonably close anyway. Let's kinda put you with there with the dudes. Whoa! Holy shit, they're huge. You are humongous. Alrighty then, I did not realize that you would be quite so tremendous. No reason this doesn't look like it's actually, you know, doing fountain things. Oh, probably because we need to uh, move it onto the fountain in order for it to do fountain things. Okay, yeah, there we go. Does kind of what we wanted. Uh, well, we can sp spruce some of this up as we go. So, let's see. Ah, here we go. So there's the ability to build walls and stuff. Um, what if I don't want curved things? What if I just want it to be straight? What if I want it to just be straight? Oh good, it will actually connect to the walls themselves. It doesn't uh it doesn't make it difficult to do that. That's good. I like that. But sometimes things don't work that way. And it can be quite annoying. Definitely be pretty annoying. Uh Is this going to give me the angle that I wanted? It doesn't look like it's giving me quite the angle I was looking for, really. Oh, alright. Well, that mostly does what I wanted. So let's move you out of the way. I mean, it's not exact, but it's... 
is not exact at all, but it kind of does what I wanted, so I guess I'll take it. Unless this is really not fitting. It's really not snapping to it like I want it to snap to it, though. Maybe I should just set this up as a... Don't even bother with this, and just set it up as a... Um, it's a square or whatever. Assuming, of course, that I can do that. It might be better. Yeah, that's not too bad. Okay, it kinda does sort of what I wanted. It's not exact, but it's close. It is close. You can actually make it taller than this. Or maybe not. Nope, maybe not. That's fine. It's not super pretty, but I'm gonna stick with it as it is for the moment because it kind of does the effect that I was looking for, even though it's not... It's a long ways from being 100% the effect I was trying, but... But it gets some of the job done. Right, you have long since reached a point where you should be running instead of just sitting there. Oh, nine dollars on that one. Okay. I mean, I can just go with Wild Blue for the moment anyway, it's fine. He's not exact, but it's, it's okay. It's okay. Why is the queue wait time on that one so much longer than it is on... Wow, the roller coaster has a shorter queue than the smaller ri rides do. That's... That's a new, that's a new one. That's not something I've, I think I've ever seen before. A roller coaster with a shorter queue than the cool rides. Or than the, uh, the smaller rides, rather. It's definitely a new one. Uh, so this is showing me all the rides, okay. Good. How are we looking at research? Uh, a long ways from completion. That's how we're looking at research. Start these working now. Our monthly profits have grown drastically, apparently, so that's cool. We are making money. Uh, I will do some more work on doing all that here in a minute. And I guess they're thirsty, yes. That was just what I was about to look at doing. Now, see, you can actually build your own buildings in this, and you can actually set them up to be the, um, to build your own buildings, you can set them up to be what you would want them to be, you know, as far as, like, shops or bathrooms or whatever, you can, you can set stuff up to basically work how you want it to work, which is pretty cool. And not something that a lot of the games generally let you do. Uh, so that is kind of neat. I will set that right there, because we do need a bathroom area. Uh, and... Can you do the thing? No, doesn't look like it. I was going to say, could you do the thing in Roller Coaster Tycoon, the original Roller Coaster Tycoon? It was possible to... Um, like, set up so that you could charge for the bathrooms and things of that nature. It generally wasn't a good idea to charge very much, but you could do it just, you know, in general. And it was a, it was a cool thing to do. Uh, so, I was wondering if that was a thing in this, but it doesn't look like, look like it is. At least, uh, not just yet, anyway. So I think that is the edge of the park right there, so there's not too much sense 
and not just kind of doing what we want. So let's put another bathroom there. And then what we do want, we need some food. We need... some more food, and we definitely need a drink stand. So I'm going to go ahead and set up a drink and a and a drink stand, a food and drink stand over here. Get those kind of set up. And I will put another drink stand. Uh, which one did we build already? I guess this one, but I guess we need... Shops are not accessible from park entrance. What? Why? Okay. I think you're retarded. Just saying. Don't mean to be to be rude or anything about it, but I think you're kinda stupid. Cause they can quite clearly reach the thing. You're just an idiot. It's fine. It's fine. Alright, so there is a couple of food things. Now, food, drink, ATM. We have no other shops. Oh. Well, that is a little concerning. Holy shit. It was huge. <laughs> what entrance did, did we use? Okay. There is not. Whoa. Okay. Sci-fi entrance. That's pretty neat. That one takes a long time to fucking load in, though. Damn. Okay. Interesting. And you can custom build all of these things if, if you want to. Like, you can build everything by hand if you are so inclined to do so. I haven't done that because... Uh... Well, just haven't done it, but... Okay, so I think this is our entrance right here, so we can change what the ticket sales are. So set a kind of base price. And... okay. There we go. Down. That gives us just a, you know, charges a little bit of money to get in. Which added up to three instead of... Two dollars per guest if you have a family. Three dollars per guest otherwise. Uh, and then of course all the things individually cost money, but you know, it's fine. It's fine. So how does one... how do you look and see... Okay, so we have to does not make it super easy to get the does not make it super easy to pick up to pick the thing that you're trying to run with. Twelve and eight. That is the thing that we already had. Oh, so you can set a price for the bathroom, interesting. The prices are the same. Okay, so I think they're a little confused about the... like this... Oh, okay, oh, you're talking about the other side of this thing is not accessible. 
I mean, I don't care? Question mark? Kinda don't really? At the same time though, I mean, I guess we can... Uh, how about you select the correct path there for me, buddy? So we'll set that up for the moment, because that actually might help at least a little bit with the people going to the bathroom if they need to. And I guess they're thirsty. That really shouldn't be a problem now, but apparently it still is. So I think we need another drink facility, it appears. And we are actually out of... Time, I believe. Why are you still saying that you're not accessible? Did I put another restroom somewhere? I thought I only put the, the one. Oh, do you have toilet things on both sides? So you do. I'm actually going to delete that one. Or can I delete this one? Let's close this one. Don't need that. We've got the one on the side, and that's fine. The other side, I'm just gonna close down so it stops bitching at me that it's not accessible, because I don't care. <laughs> I don't particularly care. And then we're going to put another drink station. Let's put it like. Let's maybe put it. Can we put it down here? Having trouble trying to decide where to put it, so I think I'll just put it over here. This is not a bad spot for it. <laughs> uh, it is kind of annoying that you have to really click at just the right spot to get the actual shop itself, though. Although, uh, I guess you can click on it that way, but still, they don't make it super easy. They don't make it super easy. It's fine, though. He's fine, though. Queue is full. And see, what happens when the queues get full and stuff, that's when you can raise the price to things a little bit. When you're having problems with things being too full or whatever. It generally means that you can raise the price for stuff at least a little bit. So maybe we'll change this one to 750. That one's been raised to 10. The roller coaster should probably be made more ex uh, no, it's a twenty dollars, it's not bad. It's not too bad. Still saying we've got two people are thirsty. It's really kind of annoying, but whatever. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah, your scenery is a hundred percent. Maybe because it's all on the water, perhaps. That wouldn't surprise me. Okay. Um, well, before we go, let's do, let's ride the, uh, let's ride the, uh, roller coaster. Let's ride our roller coaster, and then we'll end the episode as soon as we're done with that. And in between episodes, um, I'm gonna set up a bunch of paths and set up some things. And then we will record again uh, when I start to do uh, some new roller coasters and some new uh, other rides. And I might do a little bit of infrastructure work in between episodes. Oh, okay, this is actually going to be different. I thought it was actually coming out of the skull face, but it's going into it. That's fine. Those brakes. 
As per usual on roller coasters, you get stopped way the hell too fast. That always kind of annoyed me a little bit because it messes up my, uh, I have a bad back and uh, it always hurts my neck from doing such things. Well, you look like you were happy, so I mean, that's cool, I guess. Research project ready to be revealed. Yay for a first aid facility. Alright. Let's get another facility working. We need more facilities. And, uh, alright, so. Like I said, let's pick a random person. I'm curious about what kind of money they generally come in here with. Total cash spent 171. Wow. What the hell did you spend money on? Rides? Okay. Alright. Seems like a lot of money. People don't apparently mind spending money. Phew. Now people come into the park and they'd stay for a while. Wow. You got that kind of money, man. They got burning money like crazy. Jeez, how many, how many, like, for real, how many things do you need to set to make people not be thirsty? Because, damn. Okay, so I'm going to spend some time off camera. I'm going to do some more um, paths and set up in preparation for uh, the new roller coaster and whatnot that we're going to be able to, do, to build and some new things along those lines. And I'm going to... Uh, get basically prepared for all of that kind of stuff, and then next episode, we will pick up, um, well, we'll pick up, uh, we'll pick up next time, uh, at that point. So I will see you then, folks. Take it easy. Have a good day. This green lighting. Can I change this green lighting? Because that looks really weird. Looks really weird. Guess there's no way to change the green lighting, so... Okay. Well then. That's fine, but... Oh, you have to refurbish things. Interesting. Oh. Oh, we got the... <laughs> okay. So I got the uh, gold star one. So that's cool. What the hell do you need to get the... Like where where is this, these even at? Hold on, before we end the episode, I want to look and see if I can figure out what is our requirements. Because I don't even know what the requirements are. Oh, there's the objectives. So build two rides, attract 900 guests, build four rides. Okay. So we just have to build a ride, and then we're actually done with this. Uh, so okay, I'll just do that then, and we will actually pick up with a better. Better just to end it here, I suppose, and then we'll pick up trying to build a better park. Uh, you know, a more advanced park, essentially, next uh, next episode. So, rather than try to fiddle with this one too much, uh, I'm just not going to bother with that. And instead, we can um, just proceed with, a, with a next, uh, another mission next time. So... Yeah, we won't have to even deal with this one anymore, so we won't bother with this. Uh, but we will pick up with another another thing next next uh, episode. So I will see you folks then. Uh, we will continue to the next scenario and basically just run from there. So I will see you folks then. Take it easy. Have a good day. I could have really used some of that earlier, but. Uh, bye bye folks. I am, I like this game. I like, there's so much customization with it. And at some point I would really like to check out uh, some various builds from other people and stuff. But first I'm going to get through like the main campaign and things. So we'll see. Take it easy folks. Have a good day and thanks for watching. Bye bye.